Hello students, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Moser effect, um, in case you missed it in class, um, I'll be doing it again. Now, uh, the Moser effect is basically, the um, it describes the tendency for a ca current carrying conductor to experience a force when subject to a magnetic field. Okay? So here I have a magnet, right? it's actually two magnets, I've got got one magnet on either side and it's oriented such that I have the north on this side and the south on this side. So the field lines are going uniformly this way, uniformly. All right? And the point of this is that this region in the middle, in between the two magnets, has a uniform magnetic field. And this is what we want because if I put the wire here, this, is, this will be my current carrying conductor. If I put my wire right in between the two magnets, and I push a current through the wire, if I push a current through the wire, then the wire should experience a force, either up or down, okay? Because of the right hand push rule, all right? Fingers along the um, direction of the, of the magnets, of the magnetic field, um, thumb pointing in the direction of the current, so say it's going towards you, towards the camera, then the palm indicates the direction of the force. So in this case, if I push current, conventional current from me to you, and the field is going from this side to that side, then the current carrying conductor should be pushed up. So let's see what happens when we push current through this conductor. So, um, what I've set up here is my power supply. Now, I need to first explain something. This power supply is called a current controlled power supply. Okay? So, what that means is it automatically limits the current that's passing through, and it's set at a maximum of 3.1 amps. Okay? Um, so, let me, um, if I turn down the voltage, okay, um, if you don't have a current, um, a current control power supply, then any small amount of voltage would be enough to push a large amount of amps through the, through the conductor, and what will happen is you'll have, the conductor will heat up and get red hot really quickly, which is obviously very dangerous in stuff fires and things like that. So at schools, you probably won't have a power supply that will automatically limit the current. What you have to do is you have to go through the steps. You have to use a multimeter to measure the, um, the resistance in your, in your conductor first using V equals IR, right? So R equals V on I, right? just set some value. And then, um, and then you would plug in a voltage that will result in maybe one or two amps, and that's, that's about safe, okay? Um, now, if I turn up my um, power supply such that it's pushing 3.1 amps through the conductor, it only needs half a volt, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 volts to, to, to do that, okay? So in terms of power, that's only 1.5 watts, which means it's, it's really, it's pretty safe, right? I feel it here, it's, it's not even warm, which is good. Um, because you, you always want to limit the amount of power going through, you don't want it to get red hot. Anyway, that's just a safety issue. Now let's actually um, let's actually get on with um, what we're doing here. All right, so I have a switch here. If I turn it off, all right now it's off. It's in the off position. If I turn it on, there will be current going from this side to that side because conventional current, remember, from positive to negative. Right, this is positive. That's negative. Now watch the wire as I turn on the power. The wire appears to be being pushed up as soon as I turn it on. This is the motor effect. All right, we're already successful in demonstrating the motor effect. Now let's, um, let's try to derive the polarity of the magnets. Since it's being pushed up, let's use the right hand push rule. Remember the palm in the direction of the force, so it's being, it's, uh, my hand must face up, this is the right hand, use your right hand. Palm faces up because of the direction of force, it's pushing it up. Thumb in the direction of the um, conventional current flow, so from positive to negative. That's by definition conventional current flow. So like this, and fingers indicates the um, direction of the magnetic field. So it's going from here to here, to away from me, towards me. Okay. So therefore, north. This is north. This is the north magnet, and this is the south side. The north side, south side. Field is going this way towards me. So what we've done in summary is we've demonstrated the motor effect, all right? We have a current carrying conductor inside a magnetic field. As soon as we push current through the conductor, we see it experiences a force. Now, it was clear, the, mo the motion was clear, the force was clear, definitely the wire got pushed up, all right? 
um, if we wanted to make this motion clearer, what we would do is we would maybe loop it a few times. By looping it, we would be able to see a greater force because if we looped it five times, for example, it would, the current would go through this, this region in the magnetic field five times, which means five times more force. So we'll definitely see a clearer mo motion. But because we saw it, it was already pretty clear, we don't need to do it again. Okay? Um, so that is the motor effect.